Hello everyone, this is Hans, and today we are back where we left off, in East Commons. So we are going to continue to fade out today, and we are going to have to take the boat, which may take a little bit of time to wait for, but that is okay. We will take a look around the town of Freeport, which is where we are heading now. So you come through the tunnel, that is where they close the entrance, and we are heading to the right. Or, if you want to be specific, we are, heat, we are heading the east direction. By the way, during that trip from Kinos to here, we have gotten over 200 uh, since heading. Actually, exactly 200, which is the maximum. So, we do not have to do that anymore. Also, I talked with other rangers, and all you have to do is leave your tracking window open, and every time you turn, it will update, and it will also give you the skill for that. So this is what we are going to do from now on. This, the track window is just going to stay open, and we will see what is happening as we move. So I am going to tell you a story once we get on the boat, because it is going to take a while to get there uh, to the Fadar. Uh, also, we need to go through our inventory, and we may actually stop here in Freeport for a moment and kill some of these skeletons, since they are going to give us the bone chips. We can, with 20 bone chips, we can go over to Kaladin, and we can turn those in and get some armor. But, uh, hopefully? There we go. Let's pull you back this way, because we do not want to go into the zone yet. There we go. And, oh, we got some gloves. This is good. We need some armor. So let's just zone in. So here we are in Freeport. Uh, one thing you will notice right away is that there is a lot of really good things here to kill for us. Like the fire beetles. And also there is a guy here who is going to sell you stuff. Oh, look at the graphics. It's weird. There is a glitch for me sometimes where this will happen and you will also see like the keys and everything will become illegible. So I will have to fix that uh, before we go across the water. He has things. I cannot read them. But this right here is Fuzzle Cutter. It is the best drink if the game was working correctly. So we are going to continue on. Uh, it is weird that my torch is not messed up yet. But we do want to go ahead and kill some more skeletons because we want to have a total of 20 of the bone chips. That said, there is also bone chips available uh, in Kaladim or around Kaladim. So we will check that out as well. Actually, we'll just go ahead and head over there because it is going to be a long boat ride. Also, it is going to be just long waiting for the boat. Oh, look at that. Look at all the weird textures. It's very funny. But it is also cool at the same time. Look at the torch. It is, the lighting is black and blue. It's it's kind of, I don't know what you would call that, ultraviolet or something like that. Um, or, or black light. I don't know. Uh, there are some things of note here. So if you come over here and you will see that there is a cake thing. This is a very good place for brewing in, in Freeport. You can get the brewing done pretty easily. Hello, little dwarf. See was cool. He has a brown armor on, which is the armor of the peoples. So we are going to continue this way. And you will see it is saying that we go to East Freeport from this direction. Oh, the walls, they are very beautiful. But we will fix it before we get to the other zone. Okay, we are now in East Freeport. We're going to go around, and I want to show you some things here. Oh, also, we need to make sure that we hide the things. So, if you come down this way, uh, you can see that there is a um, a fire racing here, a forge. Uh, is this a forge of a specific... No, this is just a regular forge. Um, I do not know if there is a person in here that sells things, but I will show you where you can get all the crafting for doing the blacksmithing up to a certain point. So we want to go between these two blue and the brick buildings, and you will find a little passage back here. And if we go to the right, and then uh, take a right again, you will see this whole area here, right in front of me. 
uh, is the building we need to go to. So let's go down there. I'm going to just fall off here. Oh, there is a dark elf in here. They really do not care who stays here. So here it is. It is Goldsmithry. And he has a forge over here. And you will come in here and you may say, oh, but I cannot find the things. Some of the things that these two guys sell, but there is also a door over here. And you go upstairs and this person here was the rest of them. So he has all the molds, like you can make the javelins here. And it is no problem. She has all the stuff for you. Now, for those of you who don't know, javelins are a very important uh, item for the monks. It is a far-reaching throwing weapon, but they also do weigh stuff. So if you are going to use those as a monk, you probably are going to use a tinkering bag. That way you don't have to wear the whole full brunt of the weight. So we're going to go back up here, and we are going to go the way we came. That way we can get to the docks. Actually, we can go this way. And then we are going to come to what I guess I would call the four-way. Just because of the way it looks. It, this is it. You have one, two, three, four directions that you can go. And we are going to go this way. This is towards the water. There are several quests you can do here. If you are a dark elf and you are a rogue, you can come over here and you will be able to... Let's go over here first, <laughs> just before I talk, and make sure the boat is not here. You can come over here and there is a little hidden entrance on the, on the bottom there. But you can come up here and I believe you would go... Uh, let's see... Is it this door? No, that's not the door. Ah, uh, here it is. You go up. And there is a person here. You kill her. And I believe she is for the quest of the Ebon Mask. It is for the rogues. And if you are a Dark Elf Rogue, who is the only person who can do that quest, then you would go up there. And you would kill her, bring her head back over to the guild over in the um, Nariak, and he will give you the Ebon Mask. Now, it sounds awesome, the Ebon Mask, but it is not the greatest item, but for someone who is new to the game and wants an adventure, that is a very fun quest. The full quest has you also come over to here, and you may see that Dark Elf over there. Um, her name is Giz Dinia or something like that. She is the person you have to talk to before you come over here. That part of the quest, I believe, is broken. But still, you may want to talk to her. She may have another quest for you. So we can do several things while we wait here. We can do the fishing. We go back into this building here. And we will be able to get the fishing pole. Uh, actually, we need to check our inventory. I may already have one. Uh, we do not. But fishing is a very good skill to get. It's good for cooking. You can get other things that you can actually sell. So the fishing pole also breaks. If you can find a gnome who can make a collapsible fishing pole, those do not break. So I will go ahead and buy a fishing pole. It is very expensive though. It's not that expensive. And then we also need to buy some bait. I will buy a stack of the bait. There we go. And that is it. So if we come back out here, I do not know if we have to have the fishing pole in our hand. We can see though. Let's see. We need to get the fishing. Oh, that is not where we would do it. Fishing. And we'll put this over here in our very last slot. By the way, we do not have to do sense heading anymore. We can just push the button and it will almost always work for us now. All right, let us see if the fishing just automatically happens. It does not. You do have to put the fishing pole into our hands. So there we go. And we will fish. I'm going to move the fishing up to where the taunt is. Oh, I moved the things. That's not good. Okay. Uh, move that there. We will move it back once we are on the boat. Alright. Let us fish. 
So we have a chance to get different things while we do this, but we're also getting our skill. One of the things I really like about this place, oh, we did not catch anything, is that there are a lot of things you can do here. A lot of quests, a lot of factions, though, that you can mess with. So you can get these belts, and you can turn them in. And it is very weird how it all works, because you will mess with one faction by turning belts into one person, and then you will mess with another faction while waiting uh, while doing something for another person. It's just funny the way they do that. Alright, fishy fishy, we need the fishes. Come on here. Oh, we got one better at the fishing. Alright, so here we are in the Ocean of Tears. And we should come up to a dock at some point, though I wonder how it is going to dock because of how it did in the report. Last time it did this, they all spinned around and made weird things, but I'm going to tell you a story while we travel along here. It is very short, so it should not take very long. It is called the Strudel Thief. Oh, and look at this. Here's that dock place I was talking about. Um, this is only one of two locations that you will dock at in this zone. The other place is called the Sister Island. There are some dwarves there, and there is a quest you can do with them. But also with the sisters, you can kill them, and they give you Erolis blood, I think is what it's called, or the, the blood of Erolis Mao or something. And it is used in temper for the Dark Elf armor. Okay? Oh, it, it docked correctly, so that's good. Anyway... So this is the Strudel Thief. It is told of a fool, a man, a thief, who waited under a window every night of winter's bitter bite. For in this season, a woman more beautiful than a mermaid's call would bake not a cake, not a pie, but a strudel, so crisp, so soft, moist, and flavorful that the thief could not but covet such a delight. But this year he did not know that she knew he was there, so she laced the filling with alocasia root, a poison that paralyzed its prey. And now, instead of a fool, a man, a thief, sitting in wait, a statue now lingers under that window instead. Oh, that is the story. So it is a very evil story, meaning that if you are still the strudel, you will become a statue. So do not steal the strudel. Become friends with the people who make the strudel, and you will not become a statue. It is true, all of it, I'm sure. But it is, I do not know. Because I have never stole strudel, and I always eat it with the friends. It is very tasty. For those of you who don't know what strudel is, it is a passion of mine. But the strudel, it is a little handheld cakey thingy. And inside of it is just different fruits that you can put in. You can have the blueberry, the apple. You can have uh, anything you want to put in it. But it is very, very tasty. And if you cook it correctly, it is very soft. But it has a crisp outside. So it just melts in your mouth. It is very good. So do not steal the, the strudel from people. Especially if they work very hard on it. And I am sad that here in this game that we cannot make the strudel. But we will make other things like pies and things like that. And hopefully they will live up, but they probably will not. Just uh, just expecting. So as we go along here, there are different islands you may or may not see along the way. One of the islands that we will see on our left side at some point is called the Sea Fury Island. It is where there are lots of sea fury giants, and it used to be covered with people on it, killing them. But now it is changed, so nobody really goes there anymore, unless they are waiting 
for the person, um, for the spot or the camp on what is called the Ancient Cyclops Island. The Ancient Cyclops is the one who drops the ancient ring I was talking about that the bootstrutter is able to um, use. So he will take the, the, the ancient ring and he will turn it into the boots with some extra money and I think you have to get a shadow rapier. Uh, this, I don't know what all of this is for. I think this is where, like, mermaids are or something like that. Oh, by the way, across from where the giants, uh, the Sea Fiori, and also the ancient Cyclops Island is, is a gargoyle island. And that is where you can get all the gargoyle eyes, and they are used for a quest, uh, for the mages. And I think it's, like, the Earth Quest, the Earth Focus item. And also, you just can make very good money off of them because they are 10 platinum apiece. Oh, there is a thingy there. Can I clicky? I cannot click yet, I don't think. Oh, it is a luring siren. So it is a mermaid kind of person. Uh, let's just move this. This is not in the right place. I am not liking that. Okay. It is good now. Anyway, so the islands here, there are tons of them. Also, there is an island, but it is very rare to see this person. There is an island, I don't, I think it is here. Or maybe it is actually in the cauldron, or the Dagnar's cauldron? I am forgetting. But I think it is here that there is a lizard. He is big and tall, bigger than a man. And he has a very funky, weird name. I think he spawns over by, by the... Um, by the gargoyles, or maybe it's actually across from the sister island. It has been a long time, and I am not going over there because I am too low of level. But you can kill him, and he drops very cool items. Okay, so we are now in the butcher blocks. When I was talking to the guy about the sword of nobility, he talked about a person that would be fishing near here. Dark Harlang. Uh, what is this note? It said the name of a person. Let's see here. Was that it? Was that was that the person? We have to be very careful here. So I'm gonna let this boat stop, and we are going to track. Okay, I only see her right now, but at the end here, we gotta be very careful. track I do not see a goblin okay um what is this person's name again here let's move this away from there that way it's not over top can thuck can thuck can thuck it's a k Kargalan. it's over here this person he is fishing Keglin. This is not the person that I'm looking for. So they said it was outside of this, I think. So we will go outside. Now just leave this note right here. That way we can see it. Now this may be a quest that we can't actually do. But I like to get quests anyway just to see what is going on. We must be very careful now. Because over on the side areas here, there are goblins, and they will kill us. But you can continue past the goblins, and you will find that there are these this little hut, where there is a little gnome guy who is a wizard, and he is actually for the wizard quest, uh, if you ever have problems trying to find him. So, let's see, uh, Rock Spiderlean, Captain... Now, I keep mixing him up. Maybe I have to go the other way? I don't know. Okay, we will continue this way for a little bit more. But I see water, uh, the goblins. Aqua goblin. Okay, so those guys are very high level. We will not go towards them. Maybe it is on the other side. I saw a boat that was uh, landed on the on the shore. Maybe it is there that we must go. If not, we will just go ahead and continue on to the to the uh, Caladim. 
That way we can turn in bone chips and try to get experience. We may though, because there are a ton of skeletons over here, we may go ahead and just kill the skeletons. Remember though, we are not bound here. So if we do die, we will go back to Kinos. This is going to be very dangerous for us. We are going this way. Oh, can we even go? Can you go this way? Okay, we can. It is very steep. We must not fall. Okay. Oh, there's a boat over there. Canthok. We cannot read the note either, I do not believe. Resbund. I saw another person over here. Hopefully this is the person. I do not want to run very much further away from security. Kanthok? Kanthok. This is him. Okay, we are going to turn the note in now. Please do not attack me or kill me. This would be bad. Ah, I see that you have spoken to Raishan. You seem tired from your long... Oh, he is, there's a lot of talking here. What? Is there a person who is attacking? I do not want to be attacked again. <laughs> okay. Uh, tired from your journey. Sit with me as I tell you the tale. Tell you a, uh, tell you a tale? A tale about true friend of mine. A great man known as Amsver, the uh, Truno, uh, Trulosius, or something like that. The maidens. Okay, this is just telling me that the boat is going to be leaving. Say, tell me of M. Staff, Trunos, uh, Trunolis. Okay, it's, he was a good man. I followed him into battle many times. We've seen many of our friends die by the sword of others. What battles? He laughs. <laughs> I remember the first time we charged into battle. It was I was so scared. My hands wouldn't stop trembling. Amstaff uh, pulled me off of uh, off the side before the initial attack uh, began. He held my hands within his. I saw his hands being uh, begin to glow and felt his energy pass into me. I felt courage. What courage? I never forgot what he did for me that day. He gave me the courage to continue. No one's ever done anything like that for me. I vowed, I vowed that day that I'd follow him into, the, into any battle. I'd be there alongside him no matter what. As time went on, we came across an elven woman named Oh, there is another woman named Aberby, uh, Amber, Amberin. Say, who is Amber? And okay, let's see here. Oh, this is a long one. Aberin was a young uh, was younger than and he, he and oh wait a minute, let me see. Amberin was younger than and he and I uh, than he and I. He she knew of the powers of nature. She was able to control the rain which fell from the heavens and would call upon the sprites, spirits, and obey, uh, and aid her. It was obvious that Amstaff took a liking to um, Ambre. She ended up coming along with us on our crusades. 
The last I saw of Ambrun was when we went uh, when we went to the snow-covered lands of Everfrost. We were wandering the lands when a freak snowstorm hit us. We were separated from one another for quite some time. Say, oh, what's what snowstorm? I don't know where it came from, but it was so sudden that it caught us off all off guard. The snow quickly became unbearable. I tried to move higher, uh, move to higher ground, but was unable to. I was stuck within the snowy confines. I didn't know what to do next. Oh, say, what did you do next? As I laid there, my body began to slowly freeze. I knew death was near and and accepted the the inevitable. Suddenly, I felt something clutching on my cloak uh, at my cloak. I was being dragged upwards out of the snow. A hand pressed against my chest and began to glow. I felt energy pass into my body. Do you know how he had saved me? Oh, he used the the lay on hands, maybe. How? He saved my life by laying his hands upon my body. I told you it was the lay of the hands. A few moments later, he found Abrin lying in the snow. Her body frozen by the f harsh surroundings, he lifted her up off of the ground and began to look for shelter. Say, did you find shelter? Let's see here. Oh, we ended up taking refuge within a deserted cabin, not too far from our location. We knew that we didn't have much, uh, much time left to bring life back into her body. However, the storm didn't pass, uh, th uh, didn't pass through, and we were, uh, we knew we couldn't venture too, too far without the fear of freezing. I warm I warmed the cabin and rested uh, I warmed the cabin and rested for some time thinking about what we were what we were going to do it wasn't long before my exhaustion took over I fell into a deep slumber that night oh 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 a slumber That night, I dreamt of many things. Random thoughts kept swelling around my mind. I kept seeing an image of a cloaked being, uh, a cloaked being, and of Am's, uh, Amstaff cir um, circled around a fire. I saw Amberin's body convulsing, con uh, convulsing above the fire as if life was being brought back into it. I don't know what happened that night. I don't even know what I dreamt uh, what I dreamt was real, but before I awoke I saw a strange image. What strange image? He has gone. I got an item. I saw Amstaff lower his head and walk away in silence. He was surrounded by two beings carrying a torch. I don't know what it meant, but I swear it was so real. When I awoke, both Amstaff and Abrin were gone. Please, uh, please find Lara. 
and give this pendant to her. This pendant belonged to Amstaff. She, too, had a vision that night that may clear things up. If she asked where you got it from, mention my name. Okay. Where is L Laura? This is very weird. A pendant. It has one charisma on it, and it is no trade, but I can wear it. I will do this. I will do it until I can find... Oh, I cannot... Oh, it's not my race. None and none. Okay, I see. Wait a minute. Is that true? Oh, human? Paladin. Oh, this is a paladin quest. That makes a lot of sense, though. Okay. So that is very cool. That is a very... I don't know if that's, this is for... There are several different things you can get in this game for the Paladin. One of them is called the, the Soul Fire. And the Soul Fire is a weapon that is a two-hand sword. And it is on fire. It is very cool. But what is very important about this weapon is that you can right-click it. And it will give you a complete healing, which is not a very common item or a very common ability for items to have. So that was very fun. I really enjoy that quest, talking about the, the finding of the friend, giving him courage. Now, if you, if you understand those hints, like the paladin, the, one of the first spells that they get is called courage. It is a buff for your hit points and everything. So he gave him courage by touching his hands. That is very cool. And then it is kind of odd because you are thinking now that because of the fact that he healed um, uh, Ogabane, whatever his name was, uh, Kanthuk, because he was healing Kanthuk, he ended up not having that lay hands anymore for the girl because lay hands is only usable once in a in a long duration so you are thinking i wonder if he feels bad because he knows for a fact that he is a reason that the girl is not alive and that uh amstaff really liked her and i bet amstaff was filled with grief because of the fact that he was not able to save her so he took her body, maybe? Uh, or what if he became a, a dark knight? Maybe because of everything that had happened, he became a dark knight and became a shadow knight instead so that he could raise her from the dead. Oh, I don't, I don't know anything about this quest, but these are the kind of things that I would think about whenever you are talking about that kind of stuff, is that... Maybe he uh, he made her evil, or made himself evil as well. That's why there was the dark cloaked people. I don't know, but that is a very cool quest. We came a long way for it too, so I'm glad that it uh, it got to that part. Now we have to figure out where this Laura person is. Um, oh, we got to hide the things. I am sorry for your death. Okay, there we go. Oh, let us kill the skeletons. We are very close. Or oh, are we? I don't rem. I do not remember. Oh, we are very close to leveling. So let's kill this person over here. Oh, a goblin is going to attack us. Let's kill him first. Ah, we have not hit anything for a while. This is very nice. Ah, thank you, thank you, goblin, for your life. You a dino skeleton. It is funny. He is a decaying skeleton, but he is a dwarf decaying skeleton, so he is very tiny. I wonder if there are gnome decaying skeletons? Because that would be funny cool too as well. Okay, we got another bone chip. I think we are at 11. Uh, we are. Let's just put this in here since it is a quest item. So I saw last time that I that I had posted a a, a thing that there is a forage that I could get now. So I should be uh, able to get forage, and this will allow me to get food and drink without having to purchase it. I just have to get the skill up. Also, we need to level just so that we can level our tracking further than we currently have it. That's 12. Let's get a little bit more. Oh. 
So this is the place that a lot of people will come to whenever they first start as a dwarf. They will fight here on these hills in, in these valleys to kill the goblins and everything. There is a crag chick who is level 11, or not 11, I'm sorry, that is yellow, which means he is higher level than us, and he drops these feet, and you can turn those feet in as well. So let's just go over here. I think we're going to just go inside and turn the things in, and there's also a quest we can find inside of the zone as well that we are going to do. And I cannot remember who it is that we talked to for it. So let's just go down here. Hello little dwarves, you are so cute seeing your little metal suit things. Okay, so we are now here in Caledon of the South. If you come in here, and we go over to the left side, we will go this direction, and you will find a tiny little castle, it is very cool. And also an arena. This is where the wheels are. In here, I don't remember if it's this first person, but we will talk to him anyway. Hello. Um, let's see here. Well, Matt Hans, I am Vakto. Uh, if you are seeking to outfit yourself with the finest weapons in all Kaladim, I am one. Of, I am one to see. I also possess a rare talent you might find useful. Say, what talent? Did I say that correctly? Oh, rare talent. What rare talent? Oh, he can make the scarab's armor. Now, that scarab's armor, that is not for me. That is for the other persons. Let's see who this guy is. Hello. Step forth, young Hans. I heard that you have come of, to a uh, come of age. The spirit of adventure has entered the uh, your body. That is, uh, that is good. Go and speak to the others. They shall help you. I am afraid I have no time to spend conversing. There is much I have to ponder. Ooh, say, what are you ponder? What do you ponder? Oh, there is uh, something about the rats I saw here. Oh. Must you know everything, everyone's business? Hmm, maybe you can be of assistance. You see, I have been instructed by Furtog to tend to, uh, tend to a matter of extreme urgency, which is keeping me from clea uh, clearing the minds of rats. Will you assist me and exterminate the rats? Say, I will exterminate. Exterminate. I'm oh, sorry, that is a Doctor Who thing. <laughs> Exterminate. Eight. The rats. Did I did they say correct? Oh, uh, let's see here. The the names and stuff are so weird. So where is his name at? Oh, very good. I shall reward you uh, for every four rat pelts you return. And be on the lookout for a metal rat. Say what? Metal rat. I cannot tell you how many reports I have heard of a metal of metal rats in Caledon. They first thought it was a vision obtained from having too many trumpy tonics. But Furtog himself is said to have seen him. If you ever catch sight of a little metal beast, give ch give chase. Return its metal carcass to me and I shall reward you. Okay, very cool. Uh, if we go back here, there is a little table and everything. I think this is a merchant. Yes. Oh, he has the backpacks. 
Oh, for five gold. Do we want to spend five gold on that, though? Uh, we do need another backpack, but we also need other things. Let's just get the backpack. I, th I feel that this is going to be a good thing for us. There we go. And I think we are going to arrange that. We're going to put that there. You know, I am not going to use this axe, I feel. So let's just sell it. Ooh, three platinum for that. It was a very good idea to go ahead and sell that then. Also, there is this vegetable. Is it something we can eat? We can eat it. A swamp vegetable. Hopefully it does not make us sick. Okay. So I know who this person is. If you get the belts from the person in... From the orcs, rather, in the uh, crushbone, he will turn them, you can turn them into him, and he will give you experience, plus he will give you armor. So, we are going to leave here now. I don't think there is another quest that we can really do, but we now know about the rats, and that can give us experience for our level, I think. Also, if we go over to uh, the Paladin Guild, which is where we are going now, so, just to give you a reference of where we are, there is the castle. We have come around here, this um, this arena, and we are now going this direction. And this will lead us over into, I believe, what is this, the south, or is it the east, or something like that. Either way, we are going there. Okay, so now we are in North Caledon. So, here is the mine, I think, that they were talking about with the rats. Another thing that is very cool about this place, oh, there is the metal rat. What what con are you? You are you are not able to be killed by me yet. So we need to be higher level. This means that we need to turn in the bone chips, but let's go down here. Oh, there are people here. Are you a merchant? Oh, look at this. There are sharpening stones here, and he has unlimited supplies of them. So the sharpening stones, if you get a sword, which we should not have sold that axe, I don't think. Actually, uh, I think it has to be on the broken or the uh, rusty swords. Uh, you can sharpen them, and it will give you skill in the blacksmith all the way up to the level 20. So, back here, I believe this is where the rats are. If Yes, yeah, see here are the giant rats. These guys are even to me. I am scared of them. So I am not going to attack them. We are going to go ahead and head back up here. Oh, little drawbridge thingy. It's kind of funny. And we are going to go to the Paladin Guild. So if you come out of here or come out of there, we are going to go here. These guys here are the rogues for this area. In here, there is a merchant available right there. And you can also buy armor off him, because whenever people do the quest here, they usually sell to him. And you will see that we can get the Gossamer armor, and I think, uh, oh, I thought there was other stuff that you could get. But maybe uh, he, is, um, he is restocked, so he may not have it. Alright, here is the bank. We are going to do the change thing, though I think we have everything fine. Okay. Let's move away and go, oh, there's a guy. See the green little breastplate that he has? That is the Scarab breastplate. It is very cool, but it is very hard to get as well. So we are going in this direction, I think. Yes, I think this is the way we must go. And this is going to lead us to the Cleric Guild, which is here. And then we have to go to the Paladin Guild, which is back here. Once we get up here, we are going to go ahead and find this little guy. He is wearing, like, leather armor. And you turn in the bone chips to him, if I remember correctly. Hello! Here he is. So, we are going to turn in our things here. Um, let's see. Ah, uh, bone chips. We can hand four in at a time, I believe. I don't, uh, we should probably ask him. Let's talk to him before we do this. Hail. Hail, Hans. Oh, he knows my name. Bow before the gre the greatness of the clerics of the Underfoot. It is a, it is good to be a paladin in such, um, in, in such an order as ours. To fight 
the good fight and defend Caledim from evil and undead. If you be a paladin, then I pray you find the courage to battle the undead. I have the courage to battle the undead. Oh, he is saying more things. Yes, to battle the undead is our greatest call. The oh, start to cast a spell. <laughs> that is funny. Our greatest call. Uh, to to to. Where are you? Oh, here he is. Stop casting the spells. Uh, there has been a rise in the number of dwarven skeletons seen in the butcher blocks. If you are a true member of our, of this order, I shall reward you for the return of four bone chips. So it does have to be four specifically. All right, let us turn these in. And just uh, to give you an idea, we are currently at 66% into level. And now we, we got 10% for that. Oh, and we got a rusty weapon. We are going to sharpen this before we do anything else with it. Uh, 536 over 429. Uh, I think we can make this a better weapon, though. So, anyway, we are going to continue on. We have four. Uh, we have two more times we can turn in. So, that will get us to, what, 99% maybe? Okay, we got the torch. Thank you. And, oh, this is going to do it. This is going to give us our 90, 99%. Oh, we, we leveled. We are now level 4. That is awesome. We did not get anything for that turn in, though. Which is fine. Alright, let us head back over here. Now that we are higher level... And we need to be very careful because while the rat is still uh, is going to be even to us, he has a chance to kill us. So we do not want to die. Also, we need to get a stone so that we can sharpen this axe and it might actually be better for us. But because of the fact that it is a slashing weapon, it will actually be just fine for us because it is going to be of the same weapon type as the current weapon we are using. Though I do not know where a blacksmith uh, forge is in this area. Uh, we may have to go to the next area. So let's go down here and we will get a stone and take it with us. Hello sir, can I get a sharpening stone? Uh, will you talk to me? Hail? Ah, oh, he is... Yes, I know who he is. Oh, there we go. Let me buy a sharpening stone. Ah, oh, they are three copper piece. I am going to take two. There we go. What is the metal cleaner now? Yeah, he is even. I do want to try to kill him, but I do not want to try to kill him whenever we do not have a better weapon. So let's go and find the blacksmith. I think he is in this direction. No black, uh, no forge out here. So we go this direction. Okay, here is the area, I believe. Yes, okay. So it is in the same zone. Uh, where did that go? Oh, there it is. I must be lagging a little bit. This is um, not good. So let's open up this. And we will put this into the forge. And we put a stone into the forge as well. And it says here, you have fashioned an item better uh, together to create something new. So if we come over here now, we will see that this is now 5 damage, 34 delay. And I do not remember what it was before, but it is better than it was. I am going to use this weapon. So let's do that. And we will close this down. And let's just go kill a rat. Oh, look, we have a new uh, graphic on our weapon now. It's pretty cool. 
So we will kill the rat, and I think what we'll do is I will finish there for the day because we have done a lot so far. We have learned about the quest, we got a pendant, we got to find the person that it belongs to. And then next time we are going to go over to the Kilithan and we are going to turn in the things there. Alright, let's just, okay, we are going to let the rat come up to here so that we are at the uh, exit here. There's a direction we can go to where we can leave fast if we have to. Okay, clean up. I attack you. Okay, let us taunt. We hit him. Oh, we are going to kill him, I think. If we kill him, we are going to take the the thing and we will take it back to the guy for the for the turn and, and then we will do that. Kill him, kill him. Kill him now. <laughs> it's taking too long. Uh we may die here. Okay, we are we are holding ourselves together. Uh we only hit him for one right there. Okay, he is at 20%. Let us get him down. Oh, there he goes. He is running. Oh, do not do not die in the wall. Why why are things running in such weird patterns? Why it's something with the rats, I think, because this was happening at need. Oh, he is running faster. As as if we need that. Oh, we hit him again. Okay. <laughs> he is very weird. Oh, we got him dead. Nice. Let's see what he has. He has scrap metal. It is uh, no trade. And it is lore. So we do have to go turn this in. Let's put this in our bag here. And let's go turn that in. Now, if I remember correctly, this is the quest where we get a card whenever we turn this in. And that card will then we take it over to the Ocean of Tears. Okay, so we're going back over to the warrior guild now, and we are going to turn this in. Hopefully, we get really good experience for it. How much experience did we get for him? We got 3%, I believe, because we are at 0 previously. Alright, we go up here. And we are going to go ahead and turn in the metal piece. It was this guy, yes? I think so. Please take the metal. There we go. Give that to him. Okay, we made 1% in the experience. Says, um, okay. I thank you, my friend. I was, um, I was to destroy this, um, I was to destroy this metal monster months ago. I could never find him. Please accept this reward for such great, uh, for such good service. Oh, yes. And take this card uh, to a man named Dorian. Okay, I know where this person is. Uh, he is a fine blacksmith. I am sure he will reward you with one of the finest suits of armor. So this is a very cool quest that we can do. We are going to save these. So what I think we are going to do is we're going to end now. And we will then next time... Um, continue on to the uh, the next area but between then and now or now and then rather I got that wrong uh, we are going to stay here and kill so next time we should have a lot of those cards on us so that we can then whenever we go back to Kinos we can turn them in and try to get armor and then anything we cannot wear we will turn uh, we will try to sell to other people